What's up, first? Family. Page it. Family. What's going on? What's going on? Happy Wednesday to everybody. My bricks. What's happening? What's good? What's good? What's good? I'm going to wait for y'all to come on in because I know y'all getting the, the notifications as of now. Kenya Crooks is on. Kenya Crooks is on. I just finished my little run. Hey, I'm having a little hair. <laughs> How y'all doing? Hey, Lena. See, I know I can always have on with Lena. What's going on, Lena? What's going on? I'm throwing everything back. What's going on, with Lena? How you doing? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. I'm here to kick it. I'm here to talk to you. Here to rap to you. Get your day. Start off nicely. Hey, well, Lena, that's my girl. Anyway, let me go ahead and get started. Let me talk to you. Hey, Lauren, what's going on? Good morning to you. Let me give you something good. Topic of the day, stop stressing when you are your own blessing. Stephanie, hey, baby, stop stressing when you're your own blessing. You, you're the blessing. You have, you know what? I know a lot of people this time of the year are stressing so hard. They're stressing over Christmas. They're stressing over, what am I going to get my kids? They, you know, a lot of people uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know, what am I going to do? I really want to do this, but I know my obligation is to do this. But what am I going to do? And, and what I don't want to do is, you know, put myself deep in debt that, you know, even after Christmas is over, uh, you know, I have nothing to laugh. You know, because everybody, you know, you know, for the most part, works off the first and, and the fifteenth. So, you know, a lot of people spend a lot of money right now, and then you know, have nothing left after the holidays, and it's really like starting over. So, you know, people are stressing about that. People are stressing over, you know, what am I gonna do relationship wise? You know, what am I gonna do? You know, with my career, because I feel like I'm at the end of the road in this career, this dead end job. This really isn't what I want to do, but I'm just doing it during the meantime and don't know when this job is going to be over. They're making cuts. And I, you know, I was the last one to be added. You know how the rule goes. The last to be added is the first to go and things of that nature. So, you know, a lot of people are stressing. Hey, Tamara. Uh, a lot of people are stressing. I mean, just stressing tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow. A lot of people are just stressing. And everybody has, you know, those different stressors. Everybody has something that's going on. But I'm here today to encourage you. Stop stressing. Good morning, Opal. Stop stressing. And I'm going to give you several several reasons why. Okay. I always, I always remember, it's kind of like this. If I'm, if I'm always the type of person who always, you know, say I'm a believer and I believe God is going to bring me through. Why are you down? Again, go back to three of your worst occurrences in life. Where God has brought you out and you sing and praises and you like, man, God has brought me out of this, that, and the other. Okay, so my question to you, if God brought you out of all of that other stuff before, why won't he bring you out now? Has a, he has a long, consistent track record with you, but why are you stressing now? Because again, y'all have a track record together. And, and, and what kind of God do you serve if... Every time something comes up, you're always scared. You're always doubtful. you always, I hope this goes through. Now, I mean, you never speak from a position of authority like you hadn't, you know, gone through anything greater because, see, a lot of times when you go through stuff greater, you there's a, there's a certain air of confidence because you're like, shoot, I've been, I've been through worse. I've gone through worse, been presented with worse situations, but see, y'all get presented with the smallest stuff, and then you will just want to 
shrink up. You just want to, you know, you, you got to, again, I always say this. You got to remember your top three bad times. Whether it's that, you know, if, if that if it's that person who died or, you know, with that time you lost everything or that person you thought, you know, was the person for you, walked out on you, left you, quit you for somebody else. You got to look at your top three things and, be, and just be like, you know what, even do, during my worst days, God brought me out of that. I didn't die. Because that's one of the first things I always ask, you know, when, when somebody be like, oh, God, I can't believe this. My question, did, my question is, did you die? No, because if you're talking to me, you're still alive. So with that being said, you have taken life's best punches and you are still here. That's to be applauded. But you have to use that as a point of reference so you won't be stressing all the time. Point two. I always remember. Whatever situation you've gotten yourself into. First of all, you got to own it. First of all, you got to own it. Then take yourself out of it. So, always know if you put yourself in. You have the ability to take yourself out of it. But, it will not go down until you own it. To basically, you know, you say. It's not that person's fault. Everything falls back on me. It's not his fault. It's not her fault. It's not, you know, the, the, the person who broke my heart 10 years ago. It's not the person who, you know, may have touched you wrong when you were a child. You know, again, at some point, even if it ain't on you, it's got to be on you because that's how you take your power back versus always but you know they never accepted me and they never loved me and I never had a father who loved me no whatever issue you're going through own it you know even if you trace that thing back to something much more deeper own it because again it, it allows you power it allows you to have that authority to basically say you know what it's not on anybody else but me i release me from this particular situation it ain't your fault you were dummy i you you didn't know any better i didn't know it yeah it's on me but again if you put yourself in take yourself right on out especially if the situation you're in isn't producing nothing, that goes back to that job, that relationship, that whatever. You know, whatever situation you're in, if you realize it ain't good, if you're in it, take yourself up out of it. Take your power back. And again, if people uh, are making you feel a certain way, if they're making you feel, feel lesser than your imagined self. See, everybody has a concept of how they want to be. But when you hang around people who constantly chop down your tree, you know, your, your idea of yourself is like a huge, huge old tree. But you, you consistently have people just chopping down at you. Boom. Taking, taking a piece of that bark. Boom. Just chopping at you until eventually you fall over. Understand who is who. And again, look at your situation. Be be honest with yourself, and, and if it ain't right for you, boom, take yourself out of it. Lastly, you are a blessing, so why not bless yourself? You bless everybody else, but you, you give to everybody else, but you, you break your back for that family member. But you don't break your, your back for yourself. You go all out for your bestie. But you don't go all out for yourself. You do so many things with, with, with your gifts to make others happy. But you walk around silently in pain. Does that make any sense to anybody watching this? So, 
You bless everybody else. You go out of your way for everybody else. You put a smile on everybody else's faces, but you don't do the same for yourself. You know, even if you don't have, like say, even if you have a child and, and that kid needs $150 for something, you'll go out, you'll go all out. You'll even ask, you know, the baby daddy for it, even though you don't like him. You'll, you'll go, you know, you'll turn everything up and down. You'll sell some stuff. You'll do this, that, and the other, and you'll go all out for that kid. But you won't do the same thing for yourself. See, you bless others, but you don't bless yourself. I need for you to change your attitude about you and about what you deserve versus what everybody else deserves, okay? Be selfish with you. Be interested in growing and developing you. There's no honor in letting people use you up. Consistently, I'm sure there's somebody out there who has been guilted this week about something about Christmas or about, you know, New Year, about, you know, some other kid, you know, and then you're probably stressing, you know, trying to do something for somebody else when you won't even do it for yourself. That's crazy. You have to, you, you, you really have to start looking at yourself differently, okay? You have to look at yourself as a, a, as a, a, almost as a different, separate person. See, a lot of y'all want dudes to treat you a certain way, to treat you with love, passion, and respect, but you have no love, no passion, and respect. For yourself, but you expect it from a from a potential somebody else. See, everything starts with you. You basically attract the way you act. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like if, if if I don't care about me, if I treat myself any kind of way, guess what kind of people? I'm going to attract in my life. Guess how they're going to act toward me? Because see, what happens is people will treat you how you treat you. People will treat you how you treat you. So look at, you know, top two, three people you deal with. And I'm sure you will see similarities between how they treat you and how you treat you. I'm sure if you look, looked at your past relationships, the ones that didn't work out, he probably treated you the way you treat you. So with that being said, what, what's really the issue? Why do you treat you so bad? Why don't you see yourself in a certain light? Okay, let's go a little bit deeper. <laughs> Why don't you see yourself in a certain light? Why don't you see yourself as the same way? Because <laughs> see, everybody has, has those, everybody has those cheerleaders in life. Those people who tell you how awesome you are, how beautiful you are, but yet you shrug them off. They be like, you gorgeous, you this, you that, you the flag. Well, or, or you do it in such a way that when they compliment you, they feel bad about it. Girl, you looking good. Oh, well, I could look better. I don't know. You know, I, my stomach looking all crazy. My arm looking all crazy. Do you see my arm flapping? By the time you, by the time you done got a compliment, you done turned it around into something else. Why? You have to start a couple of things. Whatever you're punishing yourself for, acknowledge what that is. 
And then whatever that is or was, apologize to yourself. Because a lot of y'all have been carrying stuff that maybe happened to you five, ten years ago, blamed yourself for whatever reason, and basically you have reduced yourself to average, to normal. Even some below normal, below average, not expecting anything because of a because of a situation that happened to you or because somebody died on you, somebody passed away on you. So it's kind of like even with somebody, even with a loss of somebody, you, you felt like, dang, this part of me is gone, is gone. The best part of me is gone. This is what I need for you to do. Go over there and grab that part. Attach that thing back to you. Forgive yourself. Learn to love yourself a little bit harder. You know, whatever wall you have up, tear it on down. Because again, you're not, you're not able to, to love yourself the way you need to because you have walls up for other people not knowing that that wall is actually stopping you from fully loving yourself. You got this big old wall of protection up, you know, that leaves you vulnerable, that leaves you unable to love the way you're supposed to. You thought you were keeping stuff out, but you ain't letting stuff in. And, and, and it's kind of like a plant. If a plant can't get any kind of light, guess what? It's going to die. And for a lot of y'all watching this thing, you, you got your little wall up, keeping the light out and keeping people out. When, when all at the same time, time you're dying. You don't want nobody to hurt you. You don't want to let nobody in. You got this wall up. I don't want to be hurt again. I don't want to be disappointed again. You got this wall up. So you protect yourself. You think you're protecting yourself. You got this wall up. But again, if nothing comes in, your love can't go out. Again, the, the, the rays of light can't hit you. When there's a big old wall and guess who dies? Pieces and parts of you. Until eventually, everything dies. Knock that wall down, please. Knock that wall down, please. Let that sunshine hit you. Stop being afraid to love. But most importantly, understand that when you stop yourself from loving... A, a piece in, in parts of you die. And that's why you're not able to fully bless yourself the way you bless others. Because there's a small part of you who feels like, you know, you don't deserve it when you really, really do. Knock your wall down. Let that sunshine hit you so you can grow, so you can blossom. Bad things happen, but it's on you. How you deal with it? You putting up a wall ain't the way to do it. It ain't the way to do it. I know you've been hurt. And, and, and I know you're afraid to leave yourself and to put yourself out there again. But it's time. It's time. Because you're blocking your own blessings by doing that. I'm telling you, you, that's anytime you can give more to somebody else than you can do for yourself, there's a problem. There's an issue and I need for you to change that. So re really, let's work on that. OK, so that's what I'm challenging you to do. Knock down your walls, uh, find out what's really going on and then de and deal with it. Deal with it. You know, because, again, once you stop running, I always say you can't run fast. Looking, looking, looking backwards. You can't. You can't run fast. Always looking backwards. Always looking to your past. You can't run fast forward when you're always looking backwards. And that's what's up. So, love y'all. Again, stop stressing. You are your blessing. Become your blessing. Stop blessing everybody else so hard 
and not blessing yourself enough. So let's go get it. Good morning. We're going to have an awesome day. But the, the, the beautiful thing about this program is not only do I challenge you physically, <laughs> but I challenge you mentally and emotionally because I want you to be all there. I, I want you to be successful in, in every area of your life. Again, I can't have you looking fine, but your mind and your spirit all jacked up. It don't, it don't work that way. It don't match. So let's go get it. But again, that piece, you have to really work on. I mean, it's going to take effort. But again, going back to the original point, find your answer. Know that you're your answer. Stop stressing. Uh, whatever you've gotten yourself into, you can get yourself out of. But again, you have to be your answer. Consistently pray. But as I always say, Pray on your knees, then get on your feet. Because faith without works, and the faith part is on your knees. Faith without works, that's your feet. That means you got to get up and you got to do something about it. Faith without works is stand. So let's change some stuff. Love y'all. Let's go get this work. Love y'all. Have an awesome day. We're going to get this in. But again, we're going to do this together. And that's the beauty of this thing. You don't have you don't have to do stuff like this by yourself. We're doing we're getting through this together. So let's get it. Love y'all. Be good.